Breath holding spells are a frightening experience for parents, particularly when it happens for the first time. So, in this clinical video, we will see a child with a breath holding spell and explore a bit more in detail what exactly it is. An 18 month old boy weighing 9.3 kilos presented with a complaint of holding breath while crying for the last one month. ऐसे ही कर लेता है ये ऐसा दिन में कितनी बार हो रहा है It is very important for parents to know that if this is for the first time that it happened to their child, they should immediately call an ambulance and get their child checked by a child doctor as this could also be related to other more serious conditions. Now when the diagnosis of breath holding spells is confirmed, what advice will you give to parents? I will reassure parents that it is usually a harmless condition and the child will grow out of it by the age of 4 or 5 years. What would you tell parents to do when their child has a breath holding episode? I will tell parents that if their child holds their breath, the first thing to do is to maintain calm and don't panic. Lie the child on their side and stay with him until the episode ends. Also make sure that child cannot hit his head, arms or legs on anything. Act normally after an episode and reassure the child. What would you tell parents not to do when their child has a breath holding episode? I will tell parents that do not shake your child or splash them with water. Do not put anything in their mouth as it may cause choking. Do not give mouth to mouth breathing do not tell the child oh as he is not doing it intentionally what are the red flags that you will be telling the parents of children with blue breath holding spells i will tell parents that if episode occur more often than before or they seem worse or if episodes are affecting their everyday life then they have to seek medical advice immediately. What is the treatment of blue breath holding spells? There is no specific treatment for blue breath holding spells. You have to reassure parents about its benign nature. You have to also tell parents that the child eventually grows out of it by the age of 5 years. Sometimes it is related to iron deficiency anemia and so the child needs to be treated for iron deficiency. That's all for now in this video. If you have any queries or suggestions, then do post in the comment section below. If you haven't liked or shared yet, then do like and share this video. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.